welcome to Groupies' last and final video announcements. With the better do I lighten. I can't believe it's your last time on here. I would just like to thank my mom, the Academy, Stop. and the... Let's not be too dramatic. Save that for the stage. Speaking about drama, did you hear about the upcoming play we have here at Leiden, El Espíritu de España? Oh yeah, we gave us an obra de teatro que va a ser en inglés y en español para toda la familia. Aquí tenemos a Joe con más detalles. Leiden High School Theater Department has been putting on plays in both Spanish and English for the past few years, and every year they don't fail to make a great performance. Um, hi, I'm Nat, and I'm stage manager for this year's um, Spanish play. A combination of five different stories that are like Hispanic folk tales. So you have um, stories like La Llorona and things like that. So they're all supposed to have a message for you at the end or things like that. For me, very stressful. <laughs> I've had a lot of thrown on me with this play, especially for the fact that um, Spanish is neither my first or second language. <laughs> so um, it's been a little hard running the show in Spanish, but I'm managing it. But it has been very stressful, but I love hanging out with the cast because they're all really cool people. And yeah. The play will be shown this Friday and Saturday at 7, as well as Sunday at noon and 4. The play will also be shown next week, Friday and Saturday at 7. And now, back to the studio. I seriously can't believe graduation is only 19 days away. I feel like through the past couple of months, our class has been seriously stressing over what our plans are after graduation. I know we have. Luckily, we have our supportive school to help us out with whatever decision we end up making, whether it be school, trade schools, military, or work, we all have something to celebrate come graduation. Well, here we have you at Decision Day Celebration to see what it's all about. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Gupta. So, Ms. Gupta, what is this event all about? So today is Leiden's Senior Decision Day. So May 1st is National Decision Day across the country where students are finalizing their plans for after graduation from high school. And we are celebrating here our seniors and all of their plans, whether that's a four-year college, two-year college, military, employment, trade school. We want to celebrate what everyone is doing after high school. All right, so how long has this event taken place? So to my knowledge, this is the first year that this has happened. So we are excited to have our first annual Senior Decision Day here at Leiden. Thanks, me. Stephanie, remember on Tuesday when we didn't have school and we went to the mall and got food and watched movies and did a lot of our homework, of course? Yeah, I'm glad we got that day off. Why did we get that day off? But good thing I talked to Dr. Bunim about it and I got you with the inside scoop. I'm here with Dr. B. So, Dr. B. Why w didn't we come to school on the 30th of April? Sure, we didn't have school on the 30th of April because we uh, received some news from the uh, Lighton Township that there was a water main break uh, on Diversity and uh, Wolf Road. So basically what it does, if uh, there is not enough water pressure that's coming into the building, we can't flush, obviously we can't cook, and more importantly, if there was a safety concern as far as a fire or something like that, it would also not operate properly. So we're actually not allowed to occupy the building um, if the water uh, pressure is not at a certain level for us. All right. What caused the water pipes to break? Um, we actually have almost every year, and you guys probably don't notice this, but almost every year we have a water main break probably a couple of times a year, if not more. But this one was just significant. And it usually has to do with the amount of uh, rain and water pressure, some of the pipes and the age of the pipes. Um, I'm sure uh, other people could get really more technical, but really that's what it boils down to. Time. All right, great, thank you. Back, Back to, to the, the studio. studio. Good thing I punched that one out. All right, maybe it's a good thing it's our last time on here. Whoa, harsh rose. Sorry, sorry. Our next segment is about roasting teachers, so I just was in the mood to give a good roast. Wait, did you say teachers? Yeah, students finally got their chance to tease some of the teachers after four years of being in their classrooms and listening to them. Thanks, Edith and Steph. Now let's go find these teachers. All right, let me get roasted real quick. Miss Kuzmanik is so overhyped with her try-hard matching outfits. Okay, probably true, and you can come at me for anything, but don't come at me for my shoes, because you know my shoe game's on point. Dr. Veldman looks like the kid from Sandlot that says, You're killing me, Smalls! Hmm. Mrs. Berger is always asking us if we take dry showers, when really we should ask her if she's ever had time to shower. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Flintrum really seems to have his life together until you look at his untucked shirts. <laughs> 
at times. Oh, she always points it out. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Is she sure she's meant to be a teacher? She looks more like she should be sitting in a parking lot of a little league baseball field, minivan and all. <laughs> His head is so shiny that I can see my reflection on it. It's all you got? Okay, the roast. You can never fall asleep in her class with all the excitement she has. Her loud hello isn't going to make me answer her question. Hello? The last time I heard about Lang was when he failed American Ninja Warrior twice. It's a little harsh. Uh, hey, first time I did okay. Chill. Jeez. Those aren't the real things you have to say about our teachers. Let's hear them react to the real compliments we have about them. Um, Miss Kuzmanic is one of the chillest teachers I've met, and I'm happy she made my four years at Leiden a hundred times better. Well, I don't know who wrote this, but thank you. That's my goal. Uh, Mr. Fletcher was the nicest teacher at West. He piled up work on us, but the journalist class won't have it any other way. Well, I'm glad you guys are kind of doing it. Oh, he is the best physics teacher ever, the kindest, coolest person ever, who is always ready to help you. You will be missed. Oh, thank you. Mom, catering loves how you take care of every single one of us. And I love how you guys take care of me. Mwah. Your classes are the highlight of high school for many students. Not only are you an amazing teacher, but an amazing friend. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Dempsey is very understanding, one of my favorite teachers. Thank you. The sweetest human being ever. Going to miss her the most when I leave. Keep being amazing. I like that one. Coolest teacher always knows how to make class fun. I try. So guys, don't forget, Teacher Appreciation Week is next week. Don't forget to give your teachers a compliment or two. Or an apple. And now, back, back to, to the studio. studio. Thank you, Nathan and Eileen. Well, that seems to be all the time we have for this year, Leiden. Another chapter closed and another one to continue. Good luck to all the Eagles graduating this year. And good luck to all of our underclassmen and their future high school careers. You ready? Ready. Go, Go Eagles! Eagles! <laughs> that was cute. Okay, okay. okay. Welcome to this week's segment of WLTV. Wait, you're And thank you, Lighten, for these four amazing years. And great memories and bad memories and good friends. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs>